Welcome back, everybody, to the official second channel of Homa Games, Homa Games 2. To start this video off, I got a question for you guys. So you know Layla and Pierre, the two little dogs who I absolutely love to death, and you guys are starting to get to know through the videos on the Homa Games main channel. After a few years of them watching their dad make YouTube videos, they told me that they want to start their very own YouTube channel. I told them, I don't know, man. I don't know if they're ready for the pressure and stress that comes with being a youtuber well honestly now that i think about it i just pretty much play fortnite so there's really not that much stress i told him i would ask you guys if it's something that the viewers wanted then maybe we could go ahead and go through with it so if you want Layla and pierre to start a youtube channel hit the thumbs up button on the video and i'll do my best to make it happen in this video we're going to be focused on 100 percent leveling up inside of season five we're going to go through all of the best ways to get the most amount of xp as quick as possible we'll also go over some other ways that'll get you xp pretty slowly but the good thing about those methods is you don't even need to be in front of your playstation or your xbox or whatever in order to get xp so it's just a nice little way to level up when you're not even playing fortnite before we get any further into the video you guys know i'm hooking up 100 subscribers with the season 5 battle pass right after i'm done uploading this video i'm headed straight to best buy where they got a big v buck order for me to pick up fortunately i used the last of my v buck cards yesterday on the caffeine live stream but don't worry i'll have more today but in the meantime we got four battle passes to send out so let's go ahead and send them there we go battle pass number one sent battle pass number two being sent out right now number three going out right now and last but not least battle pass number four the fifth gift i'll get back later tonight when the item shop changes and i'll be sending out the fifth battle pass then ladies and gentlemen we have already wasted too much time i'm gonna go ahead and equip the reskin which is unlocked at level 110 let's get into a game and let's reveal all of fortnite xp secrets oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen i gotta say this skin style looks absolutely insane I'm not sure if this is called the crystal skin style or if it's called the sapphire because if you notice at the battle pass tab where it shows you all of these styles it says the crystal rewards but the actual name of the style says sapphire so i don't know man maybe it's crystal maybe it's sapphire let me know which one it is down below in the comments starting this out man why do you want to level up fast inside of fortnite right like besides going through the 100 tiers and unlocking all of those rewards what's the point of leveling up any further past 100 just like previous seasons after you hit level 100 epic games still has some rewards for you just like this skin style i have on right now every about 10 levels you're gonna unlock a brand new style for one of your battle pass skins the first one at level 110 and i'm level 113 now you will get the crystal reskin which is literally what i'm rocking past that at level 120 you'll get the crystal man cake skin at level 130 you'll get the crystal mav at 140 you'll get the crystal condor and finally at level 150 you will get the last skin being the crystal menace so we got a runner right here come here mates boom we knocked one what about this guy what about this dude all righty mate he's right here bro ah where he's right here no he had a pistol rip low-key i'm pretty happy that we got eliminated that game man because now we get to go and drop at my absolute favorite drop spot here in season five for getting the most amount of xp possible this spot will be the absolute most effective in leveling you up and giving you the most additional xp after you have already completed the quest that you have available the quests for this season they're a little bit confusing in previous seasons we always had weekly challenges and they came out every single week and were pretty easy to understand however this season they changed it completely changed the challenge to to quests and now really nobody knows how they work or at least for the first day we didn't know how they work but now since the season has been out for 24 hours we finally cracked the code and bro there are two horses there's literally a horse right here and another horse right here bro season five is lit the horses are back baby but right now in the top left oh okay never mind it disappeared but the quests pop up on your screen 
just like you just saw, and you're also able to interact with these little NPCs, which sort of play a part in the quest. Easiest way to think about this is if the challenge or the quest is purple or orange, meaning it's epic or legendary, that means it is a weekly challenges. So the purple and orange ones are the weekly quests. And the rest of these challenges that are blue and green, these are all XP challenges, and the ones at the bottom will reset every 24 hours. You wanna make sure you go through and complete all of these if you're trying to to level up mainly the XP ones. You'll notice that there are XP quests as well as the special quests. The difference here is that the special quests will unlock a style or something for your actual character and the XP quests will obviously just give you XP. By the looks of it, it looks like the legendary ones will reset every single week, meaning that next week we're gonna get another legendary challenge and it looks like these green ones reset every 24 hours as well. Oh, there's an enemy right here, bro. It's Dr. Doom. Wrong season, man. Dr. Doom was last season. Let's take his gold, and boom, we made a little progress on that quest. Now, after you complete all of your quests, leveling up is gonna be a lot slower, and that is where these tactics are gonna start to come into play. The reason I landed at the orchard is because this place is the absolute craziest XP gathering spot literally on the entire map. So what you wanna do in order to get yourself just a boatload of XP every single game is just go up to all of these little plants and just gather them, right? Like look, there's literally so many cabbages on the ground that after not even five seconds of doing this, I'm already up a beautiful, almost a 2000 XP now, ladies and gentlemen. So we're just absolutely farming it. We are literally XP farming, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't a glitch. This isn't gonna get you banned. This is totally fine and totally legal. And then guess what? After you finish picking up all of those cabbages, ladies and gentlemen, we're not done yet. Next up, you're able to run right next to it and pick up all the apples and do literally the exact same thing that you just did to get a ton of XP and you're able to do it again. Also make sure you destroy these trees because these trees are actually apple trees and when you destroy them, they might drop an apple giving you even more XP. But wait, it gets even better. After you're done gathering all of the apples and the cabbage from those two spots that I just showed you, you're able to head over here and guess what? Gather even more. Wait, can you not gather these? Oh, all right, never mind. But you can gather this one for some reason. This big giant one you can gather, but for some reason you can't get the small ones. After that, you're once again able to go over to the other side of the orchard and continue to collect even more apples, ladies and gentlemen. I think at this point we are nearing 10,000 XP in less than three minutes just from collecting fruits and vegetables. We go more apples. Thank you for all of the lovely XP. I appreciate it. And then we're also able to go over here after we've collected all of that and we're able to make a trade with this farmer right here. All right, so we're gonna do the quest. We're gonna hit okay, quest accepted. What do we gotta do? All right, apparently we gotta talk to that man before we start collecting all of the different little forged items around the map. So make sure you talk to that farmer and take on the quest before you go around and collect all of the fruits and veggies because I just made that mistake. You end up in the storm just like I did. Thankfully, you got a crazy amount of cabbage and apples to heal you. So to answer the question a lot of you may be thinking right now, yes, I did buy myself to tier 100, all right? I don't mean to make anyone think or give the impression that I leveled up 113 times the first day of the season because that just isn't true. However, I have been playing Fortnite for 15 seasons now, which is pretty crazy to think about. And the biggest thing that I've learned about leveling up after playing for 15 seasons straight is that there's really no way to do it other than just put the hours in. At the end of the day, there has never been and will never be a faster way to rank up than simply playing a lot. And what is this zone, man? I don't think we could have got any more unlucky with this zone placement as we are literally going to the edge of the map. Come here, mates. Oh, he's so weak. No, how did I miss? He's just jumping. Oh, good snipe, Banana King. Good snipe. Only four enemies remaining, and they are right there, man. Holy, holy. Come here, mate. Got one. Come here, bud. Oh, we're lighting him up. 
Headshot. Boom, he has no shield. Banana King, go crazy. Go crazy, Banana King. Oh, he's weak. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. There's one right here, one right here. Where did this guy come from, dude? Ah! Oh, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. The victory royale. We even claimed a whole bunch of quests right there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. That'll help you level up just a little bit faster here inside of Season 5. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, man. We're on the road to 900,000 subscribers. On the road to a million different subscribers. I don't know how we're on two roads at one time. But hey, that's just the situation that we're in. Thanks again for watching. Have an absolutely incredible day because you deserve it. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.